what would you say to kids out there who are going down the same route that led you to sitting down for 23 years? Uh, what advice would you have for them? First of all, I would, uh, I would tell a man, um, if you and your friends got guns in the first place, y'all doing something wrong because you should be enjoying being a kid. Um, I understand the world is crazy or as it appears, but if you got anything, and I say this to a lot of kids, uh, just being real with you. Uh, that's the only way I, I know how to speak, and, and, and most of them feel me when I say this. Everybody feels like they're good at something that nobody else can fuck with them with. Whether it's playing sports, whether it's drawing, whether it's singing, whether it's rapping, whether it's making beats, whether it's dancing, whatever it is. Each individual person got something they feel that nobody can touch them. Take that and work on it every day. Every day. When you want to think about doing something stupid, go work on what you're good at that nobody else can mess with you on. Because that's your ticket out of whatever nightmare you live in. That's your ticket out. Distractions are going to come because they're supposed to test you to see how bad you want. Girlfriends will come. Boyfriends will come. Problems will come. You're going to lose family members. People are going to turn against you. All of those are tests to see how bad you want it. Are you really who you say you are? That you that good that nobody else can touch you? Be that. And you'll avoid all the problems in the streets because what's on the other side of the court system, you don't want. You don't want to be controlled. Because most of them don't want to be controlled at home by their parents or grandparents. You're going to be controlled in prison. You need to be controlled by the administration or the group you have to hang with. So pick your point. <laughs> Small control from your loved ones you want to see you do good or be controlled by the system that's designed to crush you. That's what I have to say. Thank you for that. Have another question and then we'll, uh, we'll get to know boss some more. But <clears throat> 23 years Talk to me about prison, and do you believe that it's modern-day slavery? Absolutely. Break if anybody knows the Constitution, the Constitution tells you that no one shall serve slavery or involuntary servitude unless for a conviction of a crime or a payment of a debt. That means that each and every one of us, and I can go deeper with the Constitution, but each and every one of us has a choice to either take care of your business and stay out of the way of the court legal system and be the best version of yourself or be a slave or a convicted criminal. And it's, again, with prison and the way it's set up, it's designed to crush you. Most of us as black or brown, we're not even part of the Constitution. So they have freedom to play with the law and stretch the law as far as they want to. They don't have to use it. It's just a guideline. But not to get too far on subject, prison is a fucked up life and it's a fucked up reality. And once you're in the system, it's too easy to keep going back. They serve you soy to break the men down so they can't do any reproducing and your body starts collapsing early. Mm. So you go from being 18, 19, 20 to looking like you're 60, 70, and 80 with bad health problems. You already got to try to survive not being stabbed around. And thankfully, I never had to succumb to any of that. I'm blessed to be out here. I'm blessed to have my life back. But prison didn't want to give me that. It just didn't. 
Let's let's talk to boss, man. Boss, um, talk to me about when you when you transitioned from the church to the studio, and who are some of the musicians that you grew up listening to and idolizing? They're not idolizing, but you know who you grew up listening to. Well, from the church, it went from church to the street. <laughs> okay, well, tell me about that part, and then we'll get to the studio. Yeah, what was your experience like out there in the streets? Out in the streets and gangs running the streets, uh, strong gun robbery, anything, you name it, man, we were doing it. So that's not a just life neither, but what made me get into music was uh, <laughs> uh, DN9 himself. I um, I heard him freestyling. We, we used to freestyle at a club called Time Riders that we used to frequent. The club started Probably 11 o'clock at night, we probably wouldn't leave out of there until probably 6 in the morning. Damn. Yeah, it was like that every weekend with us. And we used to have cyclers. And I used to be in the cycle with one of my homeboys that I went to school with named Hollywood and a, a friend of ours named G. We called him Big G. And now I was rapping, and I, and I liked his style. And I was like, man. If only I could I could flow like that. So I pulled him to the side. I said, man, we need to form a group or something and, 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 and put something together. He was like, no, man, I think I'm done. I said, no, you ain't done until you, you teach me how to do it. <laughs> and that's how me and him started <laughs> rapping. But I used to listen to Public Enemy, Ice Cube, you know, all them guys. Um, Big Daddy Kane. Um... MC Light. I used to listen to um, Digaboo, Digaboo Panic. That's one of and my favorite groups. What, yeah, that's what that's that's what I used to listen to, and still like to this day. Yep. I still listen to. I just saw Digable Planets just before the pandemic hit. One of the best concerts I've ever seen. They, they're fifty years old and still killing it, homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That don't mean they don't. They gotta stop. Just yeah, because they old. Exactly. We used to, and that we're the only genre that seems to do that. Like hip hop, you know, these young cats be like, "Oh, you're too old to be rapping." But meanwhile, you got rock, rock and rollers, Rolling Stones. They be fucking doing this, you know, till they're eighty, ninety. We need to stop putting yeah. the cap on our rap, our rappers, dude. Most definitely. Yeah, we about to take all that away. <laughs> yeah. 